All right, guys, it's been a long time since I made a video. Hopefully it's not too bad with the heater on in the back. Uh, I got the torpedo turned on, but today I'm gonna be replacing this junk. Um, the 5.9 Cummins, this is obviously a stock air box. You got an SMB closed end to replace it. Um, it's gonna be very simple. So we're just gonna hop straight into the install of removing this and then getting the new one. All right, guys, so everything that's in the box, uh, there's your intake. It's gonna be the top cover the bottom piece and then there's some extra hardware but here's the box itself we already put that rubber ring around and here's the tube that goes down to the turbo side and then you can tell because that sensor goes up top so if you need questions about the orientation pretty self-explanatory Right, guys so before we put this in the truck just to kind of give you guys a quick little rundown so this side hose clamp we're going to face it on the outside so that you can tighten it whatever it in this is going to go to the turbo make sure you guys are leaving about that much room to actually fit on the turbo itself so that transfer the sensor over it does come with a rubber gasket this is more like styrofoam than rubber but anyway and then putting that in there but you can see that this rubber o-ring around here is what's actually going to seal so make sure you put that on the box but yeah this installed. Guys, we're about to put the cover on and they he said they put like a film on this to like protect the because all this is is plexiglass. There's all this adhesive shit that you gotta like go around. I don't know. I don't know what they should have did, but anything other than what they did to cover this, it's just terrible. All right, guys, intakes install is done. Super easy if you've ever worked on any common you would, I don't know. Basic hand tools, I think the only thing we needed was 10, 12 millimeter uh, Phillips and a flat, and the rest you can get on. Intake, uh, really nice quality overall. Um, everything fit really well. Only complaint is, and you can see it really, really well in this, is all the marks that's on this plexiglass. So it comes with like a protective film, and then it leaves a bunch of resin. Well, the more chemicals like uh oh my goodness windshield like anything you use like wash windows off i can't even think of what it's called right now glass cleaner it scratches it more because it's plexiglass but this is like adhesive on the bottom side anyway the worst part of the box by far is the top part where they put their logo at just doesn't look good but other than that everything else fit really really well uh we're gonna do a little startup little revs go for a drive see if it sounds any different and then we'll go from there going on a little drive uh the intake is definitely louder than the stock box which is expected um i mean not sure how much you're gonna be able to hear that through the audio all right guys so we're gonna do a little pull here just so you guys can hear the intake and that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up everything was really good on it uh, my brother says he feels the throttle response is a little bit different um, this is obviously just a build up for what's to come with this truck because obviously this truck's getting a lot more power and we'll leave that for later videos but the goal is to make like six seven hundred horse out of this um, so that's gonna wrap up this video guys if you like it just make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you sub comment it all helps with the video analytics so guys till next time support those who support you